नमस्कार अ न्यू केस इन लिनियर प्रोग्रामिंग सॉल्यूशन थ्रू ग्राफिक मेथड अगेन अ केस विथ मिक्स कंस्ट्रेंट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग केस दैट इज मैक्सिमाइज एड इक्वल्स टू 2x1 प्लस 3x2 सब्जेक्ट टू x1 प्लस x2 लेस देन और इक्वल टू 30 x2 ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू 3 जीरो लेस देन और इक्वल टू x2 लेस देन और इक्वल टू 12 Zero less than or equal to x one less than or equal to twenty, and the most interesting thing, x one minus x two greater than or equal to zero, and as usual, x one and x two are non-negative. Yes, first of all, segregation into equation and inequality. X one plus x two equals to thirty, and that means now we can have the two points to draw the straight line of this equation. Yes, if x1 takes value zero, then x2 is 30, and if x2 takes value zero, then x1 is 30. Inequality part will be x1 plus x2 less than 30. So if x1 takes value zero, x2 is less than 30. If x2 takes value zero, then x1 is less than 30. X2 greater than or equal to 3. That means x2 equals to 3 rigidly for any value of x1. X2 greater than 3 for any value of x1. 0 less than or equal to x2 less than or equal to 12 is like x2 less than or equal to 12. That means again x2 equals to 12 for any value of x1 and x2 less than 12. For any value of x1, see these two inequalities: x2 greater than 3, x2 less than 12. x2 greater than 3, 3 or above, less than 12, 12 or below. Yes, straight line from x2 equals to 3 and x2 equals to 12, but the shaded region will be between these two because of these kind of different signs. Okay. That will be more clear when we draw the graph. Next is zero less than or equal to x one less than or equal to twenty. So it is x one equals to twenty and x one less than twenty for any value of x two. Twenty. The line will pass through x one equals to twenty and less than twenty. Yes, this is the most interesting part or most interesting constraint. Equality part is x1 minus x2 equals to yes x1 minus x2 equals to zero. There is no mistake in writing. That means x1 equals to x2. Both take same value at the same time. Yes. So the line will start from zero, 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 one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, and so on. But inequality part is very interesting. X1 minus x2 greater than zero. Okay, now what? If x1 takes value zero, then it will be minus x2 greater than zero. Yes, minus x2 greater than zero. That means change of sign both the sides. Minus x2 becomes x2 greater than becomes less than, and zero is always free of sign. Zero is zero, neither negative nor positive. So x2 is less than zero. That is the interpretation. Then, if x2 takes value zero, what happens with x1? X1 is greater than zero. Yes, and the most confusing thing for student is always which side of the line should be shaded as the graph of inequality part. That we will see on the graph paper. Yes. the most important thing is two large numbers and the range of numbers is too high lowest value of x2 is 3 highest is 12 no highest is 30 so we have to write 1 to 30 or 2 to 30 <coughs> and on x axis is also highest is 30 so i think we should take 1 cm equals to 2 units The scale one centimeter equals to two units on both the axes, and odd number can be taken exactly at the say milestone of half centimeter. 
because we need to take three. Yeah. Okay. Let's draw the graph. I think this is one of the most interesting problem in graphic method. Uh, I can say that it is my favorite. Whenever I have taught operations research or mathematics, rather the chapter of linear programming graphical method, I have always say included this problem in my study material every time in every college every lecture or say every course MBA, MCA etc yes I like this kind of problems I enjoy yeah okay on x2 that is y for many like me as I have told earlier, I am habituated to use X and Y whenever there are only two variables. Okay. Yes, uh, it is advisable to take scale of 1 cm equals to 2 units on both. The, yes, that will need 15 cm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, 2, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, uh, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, and 30, so there is no mistake, here also 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, sorry, 18, thought process is literally faster than my writing, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28 and 30, okay, yeah, disclaimer, I am just going to draw the sketch of the graph, exact accurate graph will be only in your graph book or on your graph paper just I am trying to create the image of the graph which should be in your graph book or on your graph paper ok now what happens uh, first inequality or equality was 30 and 30 equation x1 plus x2 equals to 30 was there so Yes, as I have always advised, please use the ruler or scale of 12 inches only. Never use that of 6 inches. Okay, this is the line of the equation x1 plus x2 equals to 30. Okay, now what about inequality? The sign less than x1 less than 30, so inner side or towards 0. Similarly, x2 less than 30 towards 0, 30, less than 30 means th between 30 and 0 because of non-negativity. Yes, x2 equals to 3 and x2 greater than 3. First of all, for any value of x1, x2 remains 3. So, the line will start and pass through x2 equals to 3. That will go parallel to x1. And the sign is greater, so the shaded region will be on the upper side of the line. Yeah. And next is x2 equals to 12. So for any value of x1, x2 remains 12. So line will pass through x, x2 equals to 12 parallel to x1. And the inequality sign is less than, so x2 less than 12, yeah. This has restricted the visible region between these two lines. See at the end of the process of drawing the graph. Next is x1 equals to 20, yes. For any value of x2, x1 remains 20. So the line will pass through x1 equals to 20 parallel to x2. Yes, x1 equals to 20. And inequality is x1 less than 20, less than inside 
towards zero. Yes. So this, this, and this. Now, the fourth, brother, the fifth one, x1 minus x2 equals to 0. So, x1 equals to x2. x1 equals to x2. Yes, so x1 minus x2 greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, x1 minus x2 equals to 0. The equation will be, that means, If x1 is 0, x2 is 0. If x1 is 5, x2 is 5. If x1 is 15, x2 is also 15 and so on. So the line will start from 0, 0. Yes? Okay. And approximately at 12, 12, it crosses this one. Yeah, something like this. Okay. This is the line x1 equals to x2. Actually, it should pass through exactly center. Yes. But just to show this image in better way, I prefer to draw it according to the point B. Okay. Wait, wait. On your graph paper, please draw the graph accurately. Now what? We have to, uh, okay, the most important thing, shaded region, below the line or above the line? That is the main question. Yes, x1 minus x2 greater than 0. If x1 equals to 0, then minus x2 greater than 0. That means x1, yes, sign, we are reverting the sign, less than, sorry, x2 less than, 0. x2 less than 0. Yes. Where are the values x2 less than 0? Yes. This side. Okay. So, below the line, the shading will be there. The another proof is, if x2 takes value 0, then x1 greater than 0. x1 greater than 0 is outer side. Yes. x1 greater than 0, this side. So, the shading will be this side, for this line, this side, for this line, this side, and for this line, this side. So, this is the actually on the graph paper. This line goes in this way and becomes part of the graph. But on board, for me, it is very hard to draw a straight line. Okay? So, you have to allow me. Okay. This is the image which represents the graph which should be in your graph book okay this is the feasible region and now we are interested in the corner points let's find the corner points this is a and in your graph book a should be 3 3 yes this is b B should be 12 and 12. C. Here it is C. C should be 18 and 12. Here it is D. D should be 20 and 10. And here it is E. E should be 20 and 3. Yes. Somewhat complicated. But this is the sketch image nearer to the graph, the correct graph which is in your graph book. Okay, now let's check what happens with the objective function. Yes, please write down this thing. This is unique and in 
some very rare number of cases we can face this kind of situation okay and <laughs> I know this kind of sums become favorite of many question paper setters